procedure, which is also known as the sleeve gastrectomy, is the newest procedure to really emerge on the scene and be widely accepted among bariatric surgeons and experts in the weight loss arena. The sleeve procedure, or laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy, that we would more formally call it, is indeed a minimally invasive procedure. It's a laparoscopic operation. And while it is perhaps not usually truly an outpatient procedure, it is one uh, where most people can undergo the procedure in less than an hour and stay in the hospital usually just overnight, at least in our practice. Um, the procedure in many people's minds is considered intermediate in, in, in its invasiveness between the gastric bypass procedure and the lap band procedure, although there are reasons this may be a bit of a misconception. The strengths of the sleeve procedure, uh, I believe, are that it does appear to produce very effective weight loss results. These results seem right on par with that of what has long been the gold standard, that of the gastric bypass operation. The vast majority of people who undergo the sleeve procedure lose a great deal of weight. Right in that first few months and year, we see them often losing a great deal of weight in that first year and year and a half until they've really reached their goal, or nearly so. Um, it does not have uh, the rearrangement or rerouting of the uh, small intestine, and so we do not see the same degree of vitamin absorption um, reduction that we see with gastric bypass. So not having that malabsorptive feature makes uh, vitamin deficiencies um, and mineral deficiencies far less likely with the sleeve procedure than they would have been with the gastric bypass. There are other there are other considerations also which um, are not uh, potential problems with the sleeve procedure because there is no intestinal surgery being done. Uh, for example, there's not a problem of internal hernias or bowel blockages or scar tissue, which are considerations with the gastric bypass over the long term. Um, so if there are real positives about the sleeve procedure, I would say that um, it is a minimally invasive operation. Typically there are five very small laparoscopic incisions. Uh, it's done uh, in under an hour, and it usually requires a 24-hour or less hospital stay. Um, and the results are very, very compelling, very successful. Um, if it has downsides, I would say one of them is that most of the data is not as mature, it's not as long-term as we have available for the gastric bypass operation. We have a number of good five-year studies from uh, multi-center trials in the United States and Europe with the sleeve procedure, but we don't have the kind of 25- and 30-year data that you might have with the gastric bypass. Uh, nonetheless, it looks like a very successful procedure, and um, uh, as I've told my own patients, um, while we don't have long-term data, we do have very good data that goes out five years, and I think it's very convincing, very compelling data. Other potential downsides of the sleeve procedure are that there is a long staple line associated with that long tube-like or sleeve-like stomach that is created, and that is an area where gastritis or even microperforation can occur in the weeks following the procedure. So it's very important to avoid um, alcohol, tobacco, and the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Advil, Motrin, Aleve, and Naproxen, because these can cause ulcers or gastritis in that long staple line. Um, there are uh, important things that the surgeon needs to know about how to take care of the sleeve procedure, and should one of those problems occur with the staple line, it's usually very easily remedi remedi remedied um, if the surgeon knows how to do so uh, with an endoscopic stent technique. Um, so these are things that we've learned over the years that have made it very successful. Uh, we've seen many more patients gravitate toward the sleeve procedure uh, as they uh, did not feel comfortable with either of the other two alternatives and felt that this one may represent just the right mix of uh, success, early success, and the high impact uh, that's associated with gastric bypass surgery, uh, but without perhaps all of the potential hazards of the, of the procedure that may involve uh, some of the intestinal problems, um, which while not common can occur with gastric bypass surgery. So I think the sleeve procedure is going to be around for a long time. The long-term results will tell us if it indeed needs to be modified or changed in any way. But I feel confident it will be among the procedures that we recommend for many years to come.